What is going on Crypto Fiends? Ryan Martello here. Today we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your new Ledger Nano X. Now I gotta say guys, I am very, very impressed by this device compared to uh, the traditional Ledger Nano S. This does have a handful of new features that completely blows this other device out of the water. First off, this device uh, can store up to 100 applications. That's the main feature that stands out to me the most uh, because the biggest problem I had with the Ledger Nano S is that after the fourth application was installed, I would have to uninstall and reinstall different applications in order to, in order to navigate other cryptocurrencies. And after a while, it just became an absolute pain in the butt. Also, this does have Bluetooth connectivity, so you can directly connect this this device to your phone, whether that's your Apple or Android phone, and then you can utilize the Ledger Live application where you can see all of your funds, see charts, see price movements. Uh, you can also send, receive, and trade cryptocurrencies all through the Ledger Live application. So this also does have a battery um, power source inside of it, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in or anything when using it. It's simply its own device, has a battery, it's all Bluetooth, Definitely a step up from the traditional Ledger Nano S. So we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial today on how to navigate and set up your Ledger Nano X. Let's get it. All right, so now that we're all set up, let's go ahead and open up the Ledger Nano X. Um, as you guys can see, very nice little box. And right here we have our device right up in the front. Uh, so this is the device, as you can see, compared to the Ledger Nano S, it's definitely a pretty big size difference. The Nano X is definitely a lot larger. Uh, that's mainly just due to more hardware inside. We do have this little plastic covering here. So in order to power on the device, you're going to hold down this button, which is built into the handle, and this button. Also in this device, you do have the uh, manual for the Ledger Nano X and your little recovery paper. You have the little cable. Now this isn't your traditional like Android cable, it is a special cable. So make sure you hold on to this cable when you get your device or you will not be able to charge your device. And then a little keychain for your device as well. So when you turn on your device, it's gonna give you a little welcome menu. So just go over and scroll through and just read all the instructions just telling you about how your device works. Choose pin code for your device. Now this is the pin you're gonna use every single time you access your device. Uh, so it would be best to use eight, but it could definitely be a hassle using eight different digits um, every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my pin by navigating between the left and right buttons. And then whenever you want to confirm the number, you double press the buttons. Confirm it again. So you have to write down your recovery phrase, guys. This is going to be the 12 to 24 word phrase. Um, for any reason, if you do lose this device, you will need these words in order to access your device. And even if you don't have your device, you can access your funds through, say, uh, my Ether wallet or something like that. So these words are just as valuable as the cryptocurrencies that are going to be stored on your device so make sure you write all of these down so they do provide you with three recovery sheets in case you want to store some in different places or you mess up on one you do have three to work with so make sure you write down your entire recovery phrase on this paper and store it somewhere uh, where no one can get access to it because this is literally the key to your cryptocurrencies all right, so once you get your recovery phrase all set up, you will be brought to this screen. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over to install app, and it's gonna say use manager and Ledger Live to install app and more, apps and more. So as you guys can see, once I focus this, I have my, my phone here. I'm going to get started. Now this is the Ledger Live application. Uh, you can download it on the App Store or Google Play Store. And I'm gonna click on Ledger Nano X and then add new Ledger Nano X. So my Bluetooth is disabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. So right here, once you go to connect to your device, it's going to ask you to um, pair them together. And in order to do that, you need to confirm it on the device and on your phone. So once you confirm it on your device, you can confirm it on your phone as well. 
and then it will validate the pairing. And then it also says on the device here, allow ledger manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and double press the buttons on that. And then that will sync directly with my phone. So as you guys can see now, the pairing is successful. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to set a password on your Ledger Live account. So that password will not be correlated with your Ledger Nano X, but it will be the password you use in order to log into your Ledger Live application. So once you enter in your password, if you have an iPhone or a handful of other smartphones, you can have the option to enable Face ID or Touch ID. So I'm going to enable Face ID. So you can have the option to share bug reports, analytics, etc. I personally do not like to share my data um, with any company to the best of my ability. So I'm going to decline those options and continue. And then as you guys can see, your device is all set up. So when you go ahead and open Ledger Live, this is what you can see. So say you want to add the Bitcoin application onto your device. So what you're gonna do is go to Open Manager and select your device. Now your device is going to connect with your Ledger Nano X and it's going to pull up the manager where you can choose a handful of different applications, AKA cryptocurrencies to choose from to uh, add onto your Ledger Nano X. So as you can see here, we have a long list of different cryptocurrencies. We're going to go ahead and just add Bitcoin for the sake of this video. And it's installing the Bitcoin application onto my Ledger Nano X via Bluetooth. So as you guys can see here, it says processing. And I skipped over a good chunk of that, that um that download but it only took about 25 seconds and then as you guys can see on there i do have my bitcoin application so now i can go over to the accounts tab go to add accounts add accounts click on bitcoin my device it's going to connect with my ledger nano x this is the bitcoin one account so i can swipe over and change the name if i want to um, but say i just want to leave that so I would go to continue and accounts successfully added. So I can go to accounts and then this is my new Bitcoin address. So I can receive, click on the Ledger Nano X, it will connect. I can verify it on here to make sure that everything looks good. And then that is my new Bitcoin address. So that's how you set up a Ledger Nano X. Leave a comment down below if you have absolutely any questions. I will do my best to get back to you. And also, I do plan to upload a video in the future of my overall experience of using the device, uh, the pros and the cons, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find this video informative, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and maybe give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next.